So I just spent more than 5,000 US dollar on the latest Apple Vision Pro. Nani? Yes, not 3,500, but 5,000. If you are interested in getting the latest Apple Vision Pro, here are some of the combo you should consider. If you are getting the top spec, it will cost you a lot more. So I make this video to help you break down some of the hidden costs. Let's order the Vision Pro together step by step so you will get your dream headset without regret. Let's go. It's 5 a.m. Oh yeah, hold on. Apple Vision are just refresh. Vision. Okay, there's a Vision right there. I hit pre-order. So let's make Apple Vision Pro personal to you. First, get measurement from your light seal and headband. Let's get started. Uh, grab an iPhone and iPad with a Face ID. Okay, sorry, say Apple, uh, open Apple Vision Pro Fit. Let's go ahead and open it. Uh, allow camera access. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually need to scan your face, continue, continue on your iPhone. You see my Mac, you say continue on my iPhone and iPad. Let's get started. Uh, so uh, position your phone to your face. Oh, look like your face. Wait, hold on, right here. So look, move your head to capture all four angles. So I'm gonna do that Face ID thing, right? Uh, Hopefully my meta class, my meta ray band glass is not make a problem. First scan is complete. Let's do it again. Position your favorite in the frame. Great. Look around. Look around. Look around. Look down. Okay, scan complete. Hopefully get my face. Oh, looking good. Great. Done. Okay, we got our fit. Uh, so go ahead, hit continue. Uh, scan, compete your face scan. Let's get a sense of your vision to see whether or not you need an optical glasses. Yes, get started. My vision is really bad. A uh, few question. Do you wear glasses? Yes. Do you wear contact? Uh, actually, no. Uh, what kind of glasses? I wear prescription glasses. Uh, uh, prescription glasses. What do you What do you use your prescription glasses for? For seeing things far away, yes, go ahead. Uh, does your prescription including a uh, prism value? I don't think so, no. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and alter the Zip insert. So you do need a, a Zip optical insert uh, for continue to actually uh, use Vision Pro. It costs 149 uh, US dollars. Oh my God, that's, that's on top of the price. Um, so what want to, want to personalize your optical insert? Uh, oh, wow, I can personalize it. I'll put an engraving right here. Just say, you whoa. Boom! Whoa, yes, it's an engrave. I'll say, I just upload your prescription when you're ready. Uh, okay, so they actually add the Zai Optical Insert prescription $149 into my order. So, hey, done. Uh, because I do need wear glasses right here. So, we need to insert that. Uh, I, it can add an engraving. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, storage. Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's why there's three options. So look okay, at you know what? I'm just go ahead and get um one terabyte. Why, why not, right? Why not? Let's get one terabyte. Um uh, that's right up to 30 I 38.99. 38.99. Oh my god. Uh it's 200 dollars no. Um I think it's worth it. One terabyte, 200 dollars more. Uh okay, so the total price will be four thousand and forty-eight US dollars. Uh that's how much money I spent. This is more than my M3 Mac MacBook Pro. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, my camera just start uh, flying. Uh, oh my god! Okay, there's a lot of money. Uh, should I just drop my uh, storage a little bit? Let me see how much money I save. I uh, yeah, save like save like two hundred dollars. Uh, it's two hundred dollars. You know what? Let's get one terabyte. You know why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, I'll go ahead and buy. Uh, obviously, you need Apple Care. Uh, just get two years of coverage. Apple Care's cost five hundred bucks. Oh my God. Okay, so well, I I, I want Apple Care. So because it has that brand new, and it's break. I want someone to fix it for me. So it's actually five hundred dollars. So okay, let's see how much money. So that's how much money I gotta pay. I need to pay four thousand five hundred and forty-seven US dollars to get the Vision Pro. You know what? Order now, pick up in store February 2. You know what? Go ahead, add to back. Review back. Okay, check out. 
uh, your bag total is five thousand seventeen dollars. Okay, that's including tax and everything, uh, and free return. So okay, great, you allow free return. You change your mind, you can return that, and people will buy it. So go ahead, check out. So the biggest variable of cost is the storage option. Just like ordering an iPhone, if you are not using the Vision Pro for 3D movie viewing or capturing immersive spatial video, then you don't need the one terabyte option. The 256 gigabyte of option will be enough. You can rely on iCloud to store your photos and video, which is cheaper. If you pay attention to the final camera spec, Vision Pro only has a 6.5 stereo megapixel camera. If you don't shoot ProRes, 256 gigabyte should be enough. Kinda. Stereo mean double, by the way. But thanks to MVHVC, the video file size is very efficient and small. That is the whole point of shooting spatial video instead of 3D video. But the one terabyte option is only four hundred dollar more than the two hundred and fifty six gigabyte options. It is not too expensive. If you are spending thirty five hundred US dollar on a headset, the extra four hundred dollars for one terabyte storage is a pretty good deal. If you own the Metacritic three, you know you ran out of storage so fast. I got the five hundred and twelve gigabyte version of the Metacritic three, and I am still running out of storage for gaming and video watching. If you like to watch immersive video, which are 8K 3D stereoscopic, you will need to cache down it onto your Vision Pro. Your storage will run out pretty fast. Vision Pro is the only device that can truly see 8K with a 4K per eye display. Don't let the storage be your limitation for the true potential of the Vision Pro. If you are an immersive filmmaker, get the one terabyte storage option so you don't regret it later. The real kicker is Apple Care, which is ridiculously expensive. But you know why it is so expensive, right? Apple has to pay their staff to solve all the potential problems Vision Pro has down the road with in person at the Apple Store. This is not something you want to go cheap on for a Generation One product. The last thing is the Zai Optical Insert. Apple and I will both recommend it. If you don't know why, check out my last video right here. If you miss it, all the Vision Pro specs are out now on their official website. I don't want to repeat myself. There are some bad news on Vision Pro regarding Vision OS app, so it is totally fine if you do not pre-order now and wait to see what is going on next. Basically, YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook, and Netflix are not going to be on Vision OS. At least not yet. It looked like Google, Meta, Netflix, and all the other big tech companies are boycotting Apple Vision Pro, trying to kill the expensive baby before he is even born. So it will get very interesting in the coming weeks. My next video will be the in-depth review of Vision Pro, the one terabyte option with all the accessory. I'm very excited, and I hope you too. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss my review, and I will see you in the next video.